is a push for a major new data center in Niagara County that would be powered by renewable energy. It's already getting support. Now neighbors have their fingers crossed. This will bring back jobs that were just recently lost when another plant shut down. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps has the story all new at 6. The town of Somerset is home to just over 2,000 people in western New York. Economically, they rely on the coal power plant right in their backyard. A lot of uh, jobs for individuals in our community, families have uh, uh, you know, benefited, mortgages have been paid by the paychecks from that uh, plant. Now that Governor Andrew Cuomo has phased out coal power plants, Somerset needs something new. That power plant that was at one time 12 to 13 million dollars a year, which was a good 70 to 75 percent of our school budget. Well, that's gone. So how do you make that up? Well, director of Harrah Power Holdings, Michael Enright, has an idea. Our proposal has been to close down the coal plant and transition it to a large, one of the larger data hubs that you'll see in the state of New York. If successful, the new data center will bring over 160 jobs to the area, but many are worried what will happen to those working at the coal plant. We need them to be provided those jobs. Find those opportunities for them to transition into uh, power authority jobs or other uh, uh, public sector jobs. The town held a rally Wednesday calling on the state for help with this transition. So we have applied for um, renewable energy from NIPA. Last week we got a very promising first step with an award of 10 megawatts. Town Supervisor Daniel Engert says this is a step in the right direction but adds there's more to do. We need to keep this at the front and centerpiece for Empire State Development to really uh, look long and hard at providing the incentives for a, a viable economic development opportunity here in, in western New York. State officials say the negotiations for funding are ongoing. In Somerset, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.